My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Skye in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. rain and Carlo hasn't got a waterproof. He's considering <laughs> wearing <laughs> mine. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to buy my waterproof jacket in a colour that isn't pink. Yeah, like a marshmallow. <laughs> okay, this is much more fitting. Yeah. Yes. Okay, he's ready to go out. Good morning. Wow. book ah. this. Right, I have to go feed the chickens. There's a bit of a waterfall happening over there. Wow. There is far too much water on the ground here. I don't know whether there's a problem in the garden above because it seems to all be running down the walls, but I'm just gonna go up into the garden upstairs and check everything out. Okay, well I've controlled up in the garden. Doesn't seem to be any hole in the wall where the river is. So it just must have been a sheer amount of water. Now I need to feed these chickies if they haven't been swept away. Hello chickies, are you wet? on whether this weather is normal here at this time of year. Yes, um, it is normal that it rains. It normally starts raining in November. November, I think, is the wettest month here. I've got a pocket full of eggs. Better take them out before I forget about them. And um, it didn't rain much at all this November. It rained a lot in, well, it's raining a lot now in December. So it's a bit later than usual, but normally it does rain here quite a bit for a while. And when it rains, it rains hard. It doesn't rain that little drizzly rain that has, happens in England. We get real torrential rain here when it rains. So yeah, pretty much normal. We are allowed out. We are now back in orange zone, which means that we can go out and do shopping and stuff. So we're gonna make the opportunity today to go to Piano di Sorrento. We haven't been for ages. We've got far too many eggs at home. So we're gonna give eggs away along the way to all sorts of people. And yeah, we're gonna get some Christmas shopping done. Whiskey. Delivery. Okay, those are all the eggs delivered and now we are going to piano. We are very fortunate today because it has been forecast rain like it was yesterday, all day today, all day tomorrow. 
and right now we have blue skies and it's not raining so we're very lucky although I have come prepared and I have my wellies on This is also the first time that we will be using the car since we went to Rome, so hopefully it will be working. Might need a little bit of a clean. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Oh my First stop is the store where we buy our chicken feed from. So we are sorted for cat food and chicken food, dog treats, and now we just need a big block of sawdust. Oh, you want that, do you? Next stop is the marble factory. Carla has to go and pay some bills. And after that, we're going to the supermarket. you could possibly desire. This is Stefano. He's very good looking underneath the hat and the mask and he's very clever too. Look what he's made. Isn't that amazing? I could redo my kitchen now. What colour would I do my surfaces? What do I have at the moment? I think we have that one and I think if I could redo it maybe get something like that would I be brave enough to have that that would be interesting can you imagine trying to carry one of these down to my house just walked around the back of the marble factory. There's a whole orange grove here. Amazing to have all of this space. <laughs> and <laughs> now we are off to the supermarket. How exciting! Now this is a very small supermarket, but they have a very good deli counter and they're very friendly. Let's do some shopping. Ooh, leeks and spring onions. Oh, they're such big pieces. I just want to look at it. Non c'è quello che c'è. Con uvetta, canditi. Che mi piacciono molto. So I'm getting some diavoletti, which are these beautiful little cheeses, and they are stuffed with olives and chili pepper, and you melt them on the grill. Però tu li lasci aperti nel frigo. Pomeno. My favourite part of doing the shopping here is that they let, let you taste everything. We came here once and we had we actually had a whole steak because we ended up at the butcher counter having a whole discussion about different types of cuts of meat and they cooked us a whole steak, it was amazing. But normally you get bits of salami and cheeses to try and it's wonderful. And if you can't be bothered to cook anything, I have ready-made meals. So there's some parmigiana di melanzani, cannelloni, vegetables. 
sausage. It's like some sort of spaghetti pie over there. Oh, Here we've got a selection of dried beans and lentils and chickpeas mixed. All sorts. There's Stefano from the Marble Place. So I'm making this video because uh, last time I went shopping quite, and I said I won't bore you with it, a lot of people seemed to be very interested in the shopping that I was doing. So I thought I would come in and show you what it's like in these little Italian supermarkets that we go to. And I've just come to the pasta section, which of course being an Italian supermarket is very, very big. It's all the way down to the end. Piselli e patate. <laughs> I'm walking around very distracted. I've been putting things in other people's baskets and trolleys. So I'm going to turn the camera off now and concentrate on doing my shopping and putting it in my trolley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That is a rainstorm arriving. It's already raining. Whether we get home or not, let's see. As if we didn't have enough, we've got some posts to bring down as well. Do I? Sometimes I hate it here. Everything is falling to pieces. The bag won't stay on my shoulders. The handle snapped off the Christmas cake and I've had to find a bag to put that in and everything keeps sliding off my shoulders. It's wet. It's cold and it's so hard. I just want to be able to pull the car up outside the house and just do it like normal people do. <sighs> the other day I wrestled about 25 kilos of boxes and stuff down these steps. I had to relay it going up and down and carrying it bit by bit. And I saw nobody the whole time. Of course, if I do these steps, empty-handed, I will bump into about 20 people. But of course, but every time I do it with my hands absolutely full, struggling, there is nobody to be seen ever. yesterday I had one of those bread mixers where all you have to do is add water mix and knead mix and knead and all that stuff and I failed miserably it is the heaviest <laughs> hardest block you literally can't cut it so I'm gonna take that out to the chickens they probably won't even be able to peck at it and uh, put some leaves here so I'm gonna bring that out to them this it literally rained only as we were coming down the steps with all the shopping it has been so long since i haven't had to cook i cannot wait to eat this the sharks are waiting mm. and it is time to eat no i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm not sure Mm. We have a video camera for these little ones, and we're looking for a video camera for these bigger ones here. Oh, you guys, this little. 
Oh, yes. And Luke has got one. Video night coming up. Mm. Mm. Hard drive. Carlo is slowly, slowly trying to get this thing to work. I've just found a video cassette that I filmed when I was 17 years old. That is the age that my daughter is now when I was at Sixth Form College. I don't know if I actually want to see that one. Um, I, I, I can remember some bits of what's in it. Um, and I don't think I want to watch it, but I don't think I'm going to show that either. But uh, there could be some amusing stuff here. But yes, I've always made videos. From the first moment my dad brought home a video camera, when I was probably about 15 or 16, I grabbed it and I filmed everything I could. So there's could be quite a lot of interesting stuff. Most of these cassettes are Carlos, so I've got to admit, and they're all like... Um, Baptisms and children and family being born and Christmas shows, con school Christmas concerts and stuff like that. Guarda qui, amore. Ha rotto il nastro. Ah no. E eh, eh, non è l'unico, io pensavo che era già rotto, ma questo era intero, pure questo si è rotto. Guarda qua, vedi? Allora... Aspetta, io pensavo che non giravano, invece appena l'ho ficcato in la dente sono rotti. Allora non lo usiamo più. Eh certo che non lo usiamo più. Che peccato. The temperature has dropped. It's now about 10 degrees. So I've put my heavy duty winter coat on because the other one wasn't quite cutting it and it was all wet after my trip down the steps with all that shopping in the rain. I'm out for a quick walk with Holly in between the rainstorms. Feels like it's about to start again. So I'm going to be quick. I think we've come to the end of the video now. I hope that wasn't too boring coming shopping with us in Piano di Sorrento, but that's pretty much a normal day in our lives. When Carla has a day off, we go and do the shopping together because obviously I need the help to carry it all down to the house, especially when there's chicken food and cat food to bring down and heavy stuff like that. So um, please do join us for the next video. It's gonna be Carlo's birthday. And although we haven't got much planned, I'm sure we will manage to enjoy ourselves somehow. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I can see that only about, it's got up to like something 40% of people who watch my videos are subscribed and the rest aren't. So go and subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely next few days and I will see you on Sunday.